is going on everyone it is fatal reaper here today bringing you a video today we're doing a call of duty modern warfare um a video review on uh the hp pavilion so we're back on the hp pavilion and i know i have been doing a webcam uh today we're not going to do that because i want you to get the full picture of modern warfare here now we did have to turn some of the graphics down mind you this laptop you know it does have its it does have its limitations as any uh computer and other th other th uh other laptops have so we did have to turn the texture resolution down on low if you don't it will go over the max for uh, at least warzone so for multiplayer i don't think that would be a problem but in warzone if we were to play it it were to be over so we're going to keep that on low and we do have a lot of other settings on high as you can see here and we do have uh, stream quality on low because i'm not streaming and uh we got shadow map resolution on normal so we might have most of them on normal and a few on actually high and then we're just one on low so we got those settings applied and we're gonna jump into a game of T team deathmatch real quick so again this laptop has very much surprised me on what it can run and the capabilities it has again it's not perfect we're not gonna have perfect graphics on this obviously you can see that the uh quality as far as the lighting and stuff goes it's it's a little low but i mean you you can't you know you can't hate on that i mean for 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 what you're getting here up top that's pretty impressive in my opinion uh i'm very surprised and very pleased the fact that how well it actually can uh play and everything like that i did not think it would be able to play any of these really especially let alone gta 5 that we did a video on i did not think it would be able to play it very well or i thought there'd be some lag and there really wasn't uh when we turned it on like ultra settings i believe we had a bit of delay there for a second but other than that it's played it very smoothly and we are on a wired connection today so we should have no internet issues uh again usually on the wi-fi connection we do have a few spikes of lag um but here we have the ethernet so we should have no issues on that but you know, again, I've I've seen a very th this laptop is just there's just nothing bad to really say about it. It's just been a very good laptop with everything you can run. And I mean, as you can see, the graphics by no means are just perfect, but they're pretty good. I mean, th that's not bad at all. And I mean, it's able to run the game with the quality being good. I mean, the game quality is good. It's playable. There's nothing jumpier about it it's pretty playable again we you know we don't have the graphics on on high on everything and on ultra and everything like that but i mean we're able to play and we're able to get decent graphics and be able to enjoy the game that we're wanting to play so again like i had bought this laptop for uh mainly editing and things like that it was never meant to uh i never meant to actually play any games on it so i had just bought it to be able to play but I had just bought it to play games and stuff or not play games excuse me edit and stuff I was doing a uh, thumbnail edits on Photoshop and other things like that and just just have a pretty decent laptop of the hand and maybe play some Minecraft and some other single-player games that I had but the fact that I'm able to play modern warfare and everything like that especially on a good connection um, and pretty much other uh, any other connection I would be at other than mine is gonna be good or if I'm on Ethernet so it's you know, it's very much surprised me in that way and everything like that. Again, we were able to play GTA 5 on this thing. We were able to play, we're playing Modern Warfare at the moment. We were able to play Fortnite. So, I mean, most of your, I would say, ma main favorites on uh, games, or, or my favorites, in, anyways. And I'm sure a lot of you are, uh, as well, fans of Modern Warfare. Uh, Fortnite and uh, GTA 5 as well so and I mean it's just amazing to me how well it actually runs it again uh, it's not by any means perfect but, or perfect but I mean look at the frames we're getting we're getting almost 70 75 frames and at least a constant 60 on it and that's what the graphics turned up pretty decently I mean that's just again I, I would highly recommend this laptop to anyone actually uh, wanting to get one and you know just to do things like I'm doing editing and then playing small games especially on the go I mean again it has to offer the fact that it's it's so mobile you can pick it up anywhere put it in your case and just bring it with you anywhere and pop it open and start playing some games and I mean you can't really beat that and again I would go as far as to say this definitely plays games better than my Xbox one uh, I could do a comparison if you guys ever want to see that possibly and try to get some uh, gameplay on that and see if I can not get uh, 
some gameplay from different games and see how well it runs. Uh, but it does run... It does seem to run better than my Xbox One does, just from my ex personal experience. All right. I, I remember when I used to play uh, Modern War, or not Modern Warfare, excuse me, Fortnite on my uh, Xbox One there for a while, and it, especially after the update for Chapter 2, it started to get really uh, laggy for Chapter 2 and stuff on my uh, Xbox. And then, uh, of course, here on the uh, Pavilion, it actually isn't. It's r rather smooth. And we won the game. We got 12 kills. Let's, let's, I mean, again, and I had just such smooth gameplay right there. I didn't have any lag, no really delay or anything as far as the graphics being turned up and everything like that. And we were able to win the game. So, again, if you're looking for a good budget, budget laptop, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this. Uh, from any laptop I've ever actually played or any, uh, any of my friends or anybody have actually had. Uh, of course, there are better laptops out there, don't get me wrong, money and you want a better one. Of course, by uh, many means, there are plenty of other laptops that are better than this one. But the fact that this was only, uh, I only paid about five, nine, you might as well say $600 after, of course, tax and everything. So I paid about $600. Um, and, but again, you can get this laptop anywhere from $500 to $700. I have seen it go on sale for, uh, luckily I had got it, it went on sale to it for about $580. And like I said, after tax, it was $600. But the fact that it was is able to run these games and stuff like that and do everything I wanted to do and more, way more than I expected, I do have to say it has gone above and beyond my expectations. So, guys, that is it for this review, the HP Pavilion on Modern Warfare. If you guys want to see Warzone or anything like that play, please leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. We will be doing two to three uploads a week now. I've definitely got more invested in my channel, and I really want to start bringing you guys really good content and value, and actually just showing you completely. I like to strive for uh, the truth on this channel and just get show you exactly what I have to offer in my reviews and just being downright honest about the laptop or any games and stuff like that i enjoy it and love playing games and i want to show you guys the best information uh, that i have to offer so again hit that like button subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video